Hey guys, welcome back. Review a day, episode number 212. My name is Leland, and thank you guys so much for finding me. Watched the Emmys last night, and I just gotta give a big round of applause for Eric Stone Street of Modern Family. I love him on that show. And Jim Parsons finally getting some love for The Big Bang Theory. He is terrific on that show. I, I think it should have been nominated for Outstanding Comedy Series, but, but I digress. The, the movie review I'm doing for you guys today is Get Low, and it's this new flick directed by director Aaron Schneider, who I think is more of a cinematography guy. He did a 2003 film called Two Soldiers, which I haven't seen. This new film, Get Low, though, it's got a, a, a pretty terrific cast. You've got Robert Duvall, Sissy Spacek, Bill Murray, and Lucas Black. Lucas Black is an actor who... I think he was in like one of the Fast and the Furious films. I think he's the little kid in the beginning of The X-Files. I, like, I, I don't feel as if I've seen him in very many good movies, but he's an actor I always really, really like. I don't know if it's maybe the fact that I just like actors with southern accents, but the guy's a hell of an actor and I think he delivers the goods in this movie. This new movie, Get Low, it centers around this, this small town in the 1930s. And Robert Duvall plays the local hermit who, who's kind of a folk hero around town that all the kids go to his house late at night and they throw rocks and he's super scared. He's got a big grizzly beard and he loves to fire off his shotgun straight up into the air. No trespassers and uh, beware of the mule. He, uh, after a little bit of a health scare, he decides that he wants to throw himself a funeral. He takes his giant wad of money and he ends up at this funeral home owned by Bill Murray. Bill Murray's got an apprentice played by Lucas Black. Bill Murray is the type of character who would, uh, he would sell ice water to like, you know, an Eskimo. He's gonna try to rip you up, a bit of a grifter, but Lucas Black in this movie is kind of his his heart and soul, his conscience, so to speak. And uh, they get employed by Rob Duvall's character to help him plan his own funeral. The thing is, Rob Duvall's character wants to be at the funeral. He wants everyone to tell stories about him. All the while, uh, Rob Duvall's kind of coming back into society a little bit. And there's uh, Sissy Spacek's character, who's uh, a, a woman in this town who knew Rob Duvall's character back when, before he was a hermit. They have some sort of history with one another, like a romantic past that uh, isn't exactly explored until the end of the film. You will find out, though, and uh, it kind of character drama ensues. I'll start off by saying that I think Get Low is a really great, really terrific little movie. For after a summer just filled with so much noise and so many like kind of annoying big blockbuster movies, it really was really nice at the end of August to get a movie like Get Low. It's a really quiet, I think for the most part, very restrained film. And when you have actors like Sissy Spacek, Robert Duvall, Bill Murray, and I would say even Lucas Black, these four actors just totally carry this movie on their shoulders and make this movie work for me. Robert Duvall and Sissy Spacek, when you have actors like that, it's almost not even fair because everything Robert Duvall's character, everything you need to know about Robert Duvall's character is all in his face. It's kind of like with Mickey Rourke and The Wrestler, where you could have the character say how sad they feel, but it's going to be so much more effective if you just let Robert Duvall say everything that needs to be said. If you let Sissy Spacek uh, emote the pain that is between these two characters, it really is really nice. Sissy Spacek is one of my favorite actresses. And uh, I, I thought she was a delight to watch in this movie. I fucking love Bill Murray, and I think he walks away with just about every single scene he's in. This movie, he really is one of the sleaziest uh, funeral homeowners you've ever seen. Bill Murray is, there's something so confident and cool about him. You know, with a lot of comedic actors, they always try to like, they're, they're, they're screaming over the top and they just want to like, laugh at me. Bill Murray has never done that. He's always so cool and confident. And I think that's one of the reasons he works as an actor because I don't think he, he goes out of his way to, uh, to, to tug heartstrings or anything like that. I think he just kind of is. And I think he's a really great actor for that. Lucas Black, a young, again, I, I love the kid. And I think the kid, I, I love when I call people older than me kid. He is great in this film. I think he brings a lot of heart. I think he, he gives this movie uh, an, an emotional center that is, that is definitely needed. While the movie I don't think hits any false notes, the performances are terrific, I think it is a very modest little movie. I don't think it really tries to reach any great heights. It's not reinventing the wheel. It's not 
a life-changing amazing movie. It's a solid little movie with kind of little realizations and quite honestly I find that a lot more interesting than I do you know thousands of warriors on a battlefield fighting for the independence of Scotland or something like that. I prefer these quiet little stories about characters and if that's what you're into I think Get Low is gonna give you exactly what you want. I had a great time with this little movie. I'm gonna give Get Low a 4 out of 5. That's right, a 4 out of 5. If you like this review, make sure to head over to nitpicket.com or dampercast.com. Check out the podcasts I do. I thank you in advance. I'll see you guys next time.